This is an embedded message. It's basically a way to post a message as an embedded con piece of content. Just like if you were to send a YouTube video into Discord, it would embed it into Discord and you can watch the video directly inside the app. To be able to create these embedded messages, it requires a third party bot where you're gonna have to go to the bot dashboard website, create the embed over there and then send it into the server. What I'm gonna show you guys in this video today is a bot called Embedinator that will literally let you create an embed directly inside Discord through a whole button system so you don't have to leave the app to go to another website to create it over there. It's really cool what you can do with this bot, so let's dive in and show you guys how to use it. So to be able to install the bot, I'll have the link in the description. It's embedinator.net. If you wanna go over there, you can click invite bot and add it into your server really quickly. I already have it in my server, so we're gonna go ahead and dive in. This is the test This is the test message that I already made just to show you guys what you can do. So just like the embed I did up here with Sapphire, you can do the same thing, fully customize it with an image a thumbnail and if you want to you can even go as far as sending it as a custom webhook to give it its own name and profile picture so if you want to do a specific one for each individual channel like in my rules channel I did it as gesture rules you have the ability to do that So let's go ahead and dive in. I have a test channel called embed. We're going to run this command slash embed and it's gonna start the process of building the embedded message. Now this is gonna be the button panel that I was mentioning to you guys. This is where you can completely control and create it. Everything from the title, the description, your thumbnail image, color of the embed, all of those different features you can create right here. So we're gonna start off with our title. We're gonna do our title and it's going to give you a question of what would you like to set the embeds title property to? All you have to do here is just type in what you want the title to be. So we just type in gesture title. It's then gonna ask if you wanna have a URL attached to the title. We're not going to, we're gonna leave it empty. So if there's anything through the process that you don't wanna fill out, just click leave empty and then you can keep going forward. So now it's gonna show us a live preview of what our embed looks like as we're typing it out. So we have our title in there. That's what it looks like with the title. If we wanna go ahead and spice it up with a color, we could do that. We can click on color and we can select a color from here or you can use a custom hex code so if you guys don't know what the hex codes are if you already have some roles set up it's where you can come in and do the custom hex code creation right here so if we want to do that and we could copy that hex code come out to our settings here select the other option and then we're going to put in the hex code there press enter and it's now going to have the custom color hex code that we just submitted. So now let's jump into the most important part. We have the description of the embed. Um, so we're gonna click description. I'm gonna go ahead, pause the video, type up a description. You guys can do the same and then we're gonna pick it back up with the next step. Okay, so I just typed up the description for the embed. So now all we have to do, I basically wanted to utilize a few different functions like Discord formatting things to show you guys that you can even do that when creating this. So we have the bullet point here, we have bold text, we have the quoted text, and we're just gonna press enter and it's gonna instantly put it up there so we can now get a full preview of what the embed is really starting to look like. So next up, let's add a thumbnail in here. The thumbnail is going to be the image that goes to the top right of the embed. So if we click that, the way you're gonna have to do this is you need to get a, what you can do is send the, the image that you want to use into another channel and then we're basically going to go and grab that. We're gonna open in browser. It's going to open the image up in your browser here. You can copy the image URL. So go ahead and copy that URL, come back into the embed that you're making, paste the URL, press enter. So next up, if we wanna add an image that's gonna go at the bottom, almost like a banner type deal, we can click image and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go grab our image URL that I already have over here. We're going to come in here, we're going to paste the image URL and it's going to throw it on the embed for us. So we got a few other options we can do here to customize the embed even further. If we wanna add in a footer, we can add in a footer note. So we could just do our name and that will put the footer down there. It's gonna ask again if we wanna do a URL. We're gonna leave that empty again. That'll put a footer note at the bottom there for us. So the embed is really starting to come along nicely. If we wanna add in a timestamp to go next to the footer, we can add in a timestamp for that. So it's looking really good. So our embed is looking really good. Let's say you're at the point where you're ready to send the embed into a message. You're gonna now click the submit button. The first question it's gonna ask you is how do you want to send it? Do you want to send it from the bot directly or do you wanna send it as a custom webhook like what I just showed you guys I did here in my rules channel? I can send it with the, whatever name I want and whatever logo picture that I want. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that since sending as Embedinator would be the easiest thing. I'm gonna show you guys what to do for sending as a webhook. So we're gonna click that option. 
It's not gonna ask us what channel do we want to send the embed to. We're gonna send it to the announcements channel. Next up is what would we like to set as the, the webhook's name. So this is gonna be the custom bot username. We're gonna say gesture announcements and we're gonna press enter. It's gonna take that and then we're going to provide a UR, an image URL just like we were just doing. So we already have our image URL right here. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna close this out and we're gonna come in here. We're gonna paste it. We're gonna press enter. And that is going to be the final step. It's gonna send the embedded message. If we come to our announcements channel and look, we have it the message sent from gesture announcements with my own custom logo that I used. And we have the full embed, just like we set it up. One other thing I wanted to show you guys before we end the video, there's actually, if you're in the process of creating an embedded message, and you aren't able to finish it, you wanna take a break, go do something and then come back to it. They have a preset feature where you can actually save any embed that you're working on as a preset and be able to come back to it at a later time. So if you wanna be able to save an embedded message you're working on, all you have to do is when you're in the embed function, you're just gonna click the save button down here and it'll let you save it as a preset. And whenever you're ready to load a preset, you're just gonna use the command slash presets load, select the preset that you want to pull up press enter and then it'll pull up the preset where you left off. This is one I already created and you can pick right back up with editing it at any time. This can also be used as a template for any future embeds in, that you wanna make. So say you wanna send out announcements and you want those announcements to be as embedded messages and you wanna have the same template for every single one and just change up a few wording, the, some of the wording inside of it, you can be able to use this feature to load a preset for that announcement and then have that as a template to just edit and then send out much quicker than having to create one from scratch every single time. These presets are also available across servers. So you're not just limited to only using those presets in that one server. You can use them in any other servers that you're an admin of. So that's pretty much a full walkthrough of how you use Embedinator to be able to create and send an embedded message into any channel in your Discord server. And it's all done completely in your server. You don't have to go to any third party bot dashboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure drop a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss out to any of my future discord videos if you want to join my server i'll have a link down in the description for you to do that you can also just go to discord.gg gesture you can join that way and then if you want to check out my twitch streams i do a lot of gaming content on twitch i'll have that below in the description as well thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one peace